All right, what's up everybody? So in another video, I showed you how to make a bolo um, with using real stones and kind of an authentic style that really portrayed what the bolo was actually like back in the Middle Ages when it was used in South America. But today we're just gonna be making a fun bolo um, out of some rubber balls that you can use on your friends, on your dog, on your horse, on really anything because it's not gonna cause any damage, it's not gonna hurt anything. Um, I mean, unless they fall on their face and then well, that's just funny. Anyway, so what you're gonna need for this project is very simple. You're gonna need three balls. Now these can be tennis balls, rubber balls. I got some giant bouncy balls from the dollar store. Um, they can be foam balls, anything like that. You're gonna need some rope or string. Um, so I just got some, uh, some pretty heavy duty twine from the dollar store again. Um, you're gonna need a drill and drill bits and you're going to need a stiff piece of wire with an eyelet in the end. So that's what you're gonna need for this project, so let's see how it's done. If you don't have any of the tools or supplies you're gonna need for this project, check the description below. I've provided links for everything you can need and where you can buy it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your drill bits and you're gonna choose a drill bit. It really doesn't matter which one, just so long as it's large enough to get your twine through. So I'm just gonna drill a hole directly through the center of each one of these balls. These are actually really convenient because they actually have a a spot right in the center of each one. So I'm just gonna drill these. Okay, so now I've got a hole roughly in the center of each one. Again, because this isn't like a, a real bolo, it's not gonna be used for hunting or anything like that. I really don't care if it's in the exact center. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the rope, I'm gonna feed it through the eyelet in my stiff piece of wire. Just gonna tie a quick overhand knot. Um, you can tie whatever knot you want, it does not matter. And then we're gonna stick this through the hole that I just made in the ball, and we're gonna pull our rope, we're gonna pull our rope right through. So, now what I'm gonna do, I've got the rope through, I'm gonna untie it from the wire. So now I've got the ball securely on my rope. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a small piece of stick. Now you can use a stick, you can use wire, you can use a paper clip would probably work pretty well. And I'm simply gonna tie a knot around that and that's gonna prevent the uh, the rope from pulling back through the hole. So now I've got it around the stick and I'm just gonna pull it. There we go. Okay, so now that's nice and secure on there, the rope's not gonna pull back through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure out. Um, I'm gonna want three and a half feet of rope here. So I'm gonna put out my tape measure. You don't need a tape measure because it doesn't need to be exactly three and a half feet. You can just eyeball it, but I always like to make things as exact as I can. So I'm gonna measure this from where the rope meets the ball. Gonna put it out here get my three and a half foot mark, take some scissors, cut that off. So I'm just gonna take a lighter and melt the end. All right, so now I got my first section of the bolo. I'm just gonna repeat these exact steps for my other two sections. Okay, so now I've got all three sections the exact same. I got three and a half foot lengths of rope for each section. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay these next to each other in a line, and I'm gonna get the spot where they all meet, obviously the end right here. So there we go, so that's where I wanna do it. Now I'm just gonna tie a double overhand knot right at the end here, um, as close to the end as I can. So there I've got my double overhand knot. Um, again, doesn't have to be perfect, but now I've got all three secured on the end, and this guy's ready to go. So let's go out and let's see how this works. That's how you make a bolo out of some rubber balls and some twine. If you found this helpful, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.